Okay, so we're back in biotech class. And right now we're reacting pureed liver with hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, to measure how much oxygen gas is produced. Um, and we're doing this to see which conditions the enzyme reacts optimally in. We've been changing the temperature and the pH and recording how much oxygen is produced. And so far we've discovered that the higher temperatures produces more oxygen gas and the lower pH also produces more oxygen gas. Cool. Uh, just out of curiosity for the gross out factor, how are we getting this catalase out of the liver tissue? Uh, putting it in a blender and with a little deionized water and mixing it up. It's kind of gross, but that's why the candle's there. Especially when you get little bits of <laughs> tissue and it just splatters everywhere. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> but Alex has a much better, simpler explanation about why this should work. Okay, pretty much we're going to combine the hydrogen peroxide and liver and make it go, Bwah! <laughs> <laughs> But this that is sounds liver. wildly entertaining. <laughs> it is. But this is just liver and hydrogen peroxide. There's no um, pH added, so it's going to be not as exciting. Okay. Or boring. Or boring. Or for it. And first we need to do this This would have been way okay. funnier if we had made some of these in physics and then showed them what we were doing with the blender. <laughs> Look what you made your smoothies in, everybody. <laughs> okay, so let's get this set up. Okay, so this is just regular liver? Yep. Uh, yep, pureed regular liver. Cap it, cap oh. it. Whoa! <laughs> Why oh, is this going insane now? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so what are we looking at now? What's this trial? This is acidic liver puree with hydrogen peroxide. Acidic little liver puree, huh? Yep. pH is 5.18. Come on, cap it. Holy Jesus. It's like, <laughs> It's like what, Alex? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. This is just running at room oh, temperature, right? Yep, yep. We're getting liver. Sucking up bubbles we're now. Sucking up bubbles, guys. It's okay. It's not wow. Out yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, boom. <laughs> Did we? So, so we blew out like a 500 100? milliliter flask. 400. Well, 400. yeah, what about the beakers that were in the water? We, we had to use a they thousand overflowed. Oh, oh, it's the 500 milliliter flask and a thousand milliliter beaker. We had to use right. a thousand milliliter beaker because we blew out a 100 and a 250. <laughs> and we're we pretty sure that we're going to blow out the 400. Yeah. By the way, it's going now. Considering yeah. it's at like 400 right now, from <laughs> what I can see. Yeah. And I, and I see some bubbles up in there, so it looks like some of the foam came through too, right? Yeah. A little bit. Not, Just not a, little, a lot. Not as that's, much as before. That's too cute. <laughs> That was outrageous. It is quite the apparatus. That was outrageous. Alright, well this runs. I, we should start cleaning up. Um, we're going to do our Uber reaction. We're combining twice the normal amount of hydrogen peroxide with a very low pH. Four times the amount solution. of pH buffer. Yeah. <laughs> Got the pH down to 4.55 and this should produce a ridiculous amount of gas, we're hoping. So, so at this point, you, you can safely say that you've learned something about catalytic reactions, and now you just want to do something ridiculously fun. Yes. <laughs> you guys oh, ready? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm really nervous about not doing that. I'm really this. nervous. Oh, get a cat, get a cat. Oh my. <laughs> what? It's not even breaking up into individual bubbles yet. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> look at the, look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much spitting bubbles. <laughs> it's still going. So let's let's lift that beaker up and let's see the volume you got out of it. Whoa! <laughs> almost, almost blew it out. Oh wow! Oh,